So the IB want you to know about three other commonly used depressants. Those are Valium, which is diazepam, nitrazepam, also known as Mogadon, and Floxetine hydrochloride, which is Prozac. Let's look at these two first, since they're very similar, only two differences. Let's have a little wander around the molecule, see what questions they could ask. Well, the hexagons, those are benzene rings, or you can also say aromatic. They might ask you about that carbon there. Well, there's no hydrogens attached to that. And if you're doing higher level, that's an sp2 carbon. This nitrogen here, depending on which textbook and website you look at, but I think that is a tertiary amine, because there's no hydrogens attached to it. Now that looks like an amine, but it really isn't. It's an amide. Don't make that mistake. See the oxygen attached to the carbon next to it. And don't say uh, alkyl groups. That's not really a functional group. Alkyl groups, which is like meth, eth, prop. No, don't, that's not a good example. So let's compare these two molecules. The methyl group is replaced by hydrogen in Mogadon. And the chloro is replaced by, well, that's nitro, O2N. Now, that's not in the syllabus, so you probably won't be asked about that. Moving on to Prozac. This part here of the molecule is the chloride salt, makes it more soluble. And a lot of people like to talk about the oxygen in the middle, but that's an ether. An ether, again, isn't in the IB, so don't be tempted to name that unless you're sure. They're all used to reduce stress and insomnia. They can produce dependence, so you can be addicted to them. They only treat the symptoms. And uh, finally, they're limited use uh, until we can get alternatives such as therapy in place.